Hello everyone, it's Lynn and Kayla again, and we'll be bringing you along a day in the life of a cat. Kayla starts off her morning by eating food at 8 a.m. and 10 a.m., and she only eats salmon because she is indeed a picky bitch. I'm just kidding, she just has expensive tastes like her mother. <laughs> because Kayla is the real main character on this channel, she then goes and wakes me up because she needs attention. My alarm clock now consists of a cat meowing loudly in my ear and stepping all over my face and boobs. And and because she likes to think that she descends from a great line of Parisian cats, don't tell her, but she's actually just a domestic short hair. <laughs> she practices making biscuits and other pastries on my plushies. Today it's Gouda Tama. And then after a hard day's work at the patisserie, she is out at 11 a.m. <laughs> It doesn't matter if my cat is 500 feet away, if she's sleeping, if she hears a can opening, she will come running and be disappointed when she realizes it's not cat food. Kayla woke up when I was making lunch and she started groggily perusing the apartment and I decided to have some mercy on her and give her some treats. If you're trying to get Kayla to like you, a sure way to her heart is definitely give her some salmon temptations. She loves those things and they're always gone in a second. One of Kayla's favorite things to do is to disrupt humans in their everyday life, aka while I'm on FaceTime with my mom or when I'm on a zoom call or even when I'm filming Kayla loves to sit in front of the camera and then flash everyone her asshole. Kayla then follows up by doing her skincare grooming routine which by the way it's very simple all natural. Then because she loves starting drama she decides to 1v1 both a human and a paper towel roll and yes she did win both times. Kayla is one to start and finish the fight. After being reprimanded by humans for attacking a paper towel roll that did absolutely nothing wrong she considered and reflected on her actions and then proceeded to continue ripping up the paper towels. Cat owners would understand this and it's the fact that cats have no shame. Feeling a bit drained after partaking in such drama, Kayla sunbathed for a bit and then she headed off to bed for a little nap. This is her second nap of the day and when cats are not choosing chaotic energy, they are in fact very cute and very cuddly. Other cats, Kayla is a bit of a socialite. She likes involving herself in the affairs of humans and other living beings. At first, you might realize this friendliness is truly just nosiness, but then you realize Kayla just wants to be included. That, however, is not the thought process that goes through my head when she sits on my laptop and obscures me from doing my work. We then have to both partake in an act that neither of us really enjoy. I mean, just look at our faces. Do I look happy? Does she look happy? Luckily, Kayla and I have come up with a compromise for this. I give her a lovely cushion or pillow to lay and loaf on while I'm doing my work. Even though she will never admit it, she gets to enjoy my presence while I also get to do my work and enjoy her presence at the same time. Another thing that she will never admit to is that her love language is physical touch, though you have to know the right spots to scratch her. If you scratch her in the wrong spot, she will bat and meow at you angrily, which translates roughly to why human why, please stop. Kayla then decided that she must also have beef with the armchair. All jokes aside, she's actually just sharpening her nails because you will never catch Kayla with a bad manicure. You will also never catch Kayla with matted hair because thanks to her superior grooming skills and me brushing her down, she always has a very sheen, luscious coat. Sometimes I do collect enough hairs to make her a little hat, which she despises but because she has less resentment for me than other humans, she does tolerate it. With this hat on, humans stand no chance against her deceiving innocent meowing and charm as she manipulates others into thinking that she has not been fed yet today and they give her more food and with that Kayla has one too many pre-dinner snacks than she should Kayla has this version of the circadian rhythm because she knows exactly when she gets fed because of the auto feeder
by the time I'm ready to go to bed, Kayla is often always there already. Kayla absolutely hates every cat bed I've ever bought her and she insists on sleeping with me and I can't complain. It's the cutest shit ever and it's so soothing and peaceful. As you can tell by this video, cats don't do much except eat, sleep, mess around with humans and poop, which thankfully was not shown but they're also some of the best companions that you can ever ask for. Kayla and I had our adoption anniversary last month. Happy one year, Kayla, and here's to many more. <laughs> Hello everyone, thank you for watching the video. I've had this idea in my head for quite a few months now and I love seeing on my TikTok for you page all these cat videos with cats just being cats, doing cat things. Cats are the most hilarious creatures. I feel like it's a red flag if someone doesn't like cats. If someone says that they're only a dog person and they hate cats, mm-mm. Drop them. Mm -mm, not good energy. The fact that Kayla and I have been together for over a year now and that she's 10? Crazy! I'm so glad we somehow found each other and now she's living in my college dorm with me. She's the cutest little fluff ball. Granted, she does act very chaotic sometimes, but I love her so much. I've been wanting to experiment more and advance my video editing skills, especially in post-production. And thanks to Skillshare, I've been taking classes that have helped me hone and really get down the basics of animation. They're my favorite online learning community they offer thousands of classes for creative people and people who want to start getting creative, discover new passions, develop existing passions. They have so many genres and so many types of classes you can take. There's note taking, there's illustration, there's digital art. For me, I recently watched this Skillshare class called Animation for Graphic Designers, How to Animate a Logo. It's taught by William Kessling. Even though I'm not studying graphic design, Skillshare is a place where I can learn so many awesome skill sets that I'll be able to use in the future and right now. Skillshare is built for learning, meaning there are no ads, they're always launching premium classes, so you can stay in tune and follow wherever your creativity and learning takes you. The first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Take advantage of this, guys. You don't want to miss out. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. As always, you guys are awesome. Kayla and I would like to thank you and everyone else who's watching this video for sticking out to the end, and you'll see more of me and in the future uh, whether you like it or not and I'll see you in the next video bye